off? That's just so impressive. Yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, I also saw you drove yourself here. That's just so cool. Yeah, I've been driving since I was 16. Wow. Can you even handle the money? Yeah, I can handle the money. Can you handle the money? Or do you got to get your nails trimmed first? So what's it like being disabled? What's it like being dead? You can't ask someone about what it's like being dead. Oh my God. And why the hell not? I got hit by a car. Is that what happened to you? Why do you want to work here? Brains. Do you know how much a funeral cost? People don't seem to need my expertise any longer. They've got the internet. I just want to drink my blood in peace without my roommate. I want to be a waiter because I need clothes every month. And my roommate gets blood on everything. How did you get disabled? How did I get disabled? Um, well, you'll never believe this story. I was in the grocery store one time, and there was this guy in a wheelchair. Well, he asked me to hand him a bag of chips off the top shelf. So I did. I helped him out. I reached up, grabbed the chips, handed it to him. And then he sneezed on me as I handed him the chips. You know what happened? The next morning I woke up and I couldn't walk. You don't get a disability from somebody sneezing. I was born with this. I have cerebral palsy. Tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> So I just got reborn like a couple weeks ago and then I needed to find a roommate. So I found this guy on Craigslist, but it turns out he was a werewolf and it was kind of a problem. Brains, brains, brains. How can you even do this job? How can I do this job? I've been waiting tables for years. I am a great waiter. Anybody would want me as a waiter. I mean, I've got great customer service. In fact, I have people come into my restaurant just because I'm waiting there. What would you say your strengths and weaknesses are? Cut meat with my claws, but scheduling problems that change every month. I can move through walls. Brains. So I can only work nights um, because of my availability. It was actually really hard for me to get here today because I don't know if you noticed, but it's sunny outside because the sun's out during the day. That's a problem. So why is someone like <clears throat> you applying? Someone like me? Like me? You mean just because I'm in a wheelchair like me? Or like me, like those monsters you got out there waiting to get in this room? Where do you see yourself in five years? I want to be at peace. Brains, brains, brains. <laughs> In five years, I think I'd probably want to be away from my roommate because it's like once a month he's in this mood and I just don't understand his problem. Living alone, away from my terrible, terrible roommate. Do you still see yourself as a witch in five years? I prefer you call me a sorceress. <laughs> Isn't your disability going to be a bit of a hindrance when trying to be uh, a waiter on your own? Hindrance? No. 
In fact, you know this wheelchair moves seven and a half miles per hour? I can get to the kitchen and back to the table before you could even blink your eyes. Much faster than that zombie could walk stuff. Do you have any prior work experience? Brains. No. I do have work experience, but it's actually from like before I was reborn. I have lots of experience dealing with annoying people. What would you need, like, special accommodations for this job? Special accommodations? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I'm pretty good. I've, I've got a table that hooks onto my wheelchair that I can carry a big old tray of plates, probably more than, well, than that wolf man out there with those long fingernails can. You're hired. You're hired. You're hired? You're hired. You're hired. You're hired. You're not hired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. And you're fired. Oh, hey, I think I remember you. You were at the interviews for that restaurant that was opening up. Yeah, and I saw you there, and then I heard something happen with the restaurant, and you guys opened a new one or something? Yeah, oh, the Monster Mash. Oh, that is a great name. Do you, you guys need any more help? Because I would love... Yeah? I can come help? Oh, man, awesome. Let's go. You did the Monster Mash. From my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a jolt from my electro Hi everybody! How are y'all doing? Hey, it's great to see you all again. Congratulations on what a, a fantastic restaurant you got. Good to see you again, Mr. Zombie. I'm Zombies were heavy. Uh, well, I'd still love to work with you at the restaurant, so if you ever need a hand. The guest included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the match. They played the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They played the match. It got on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. Out from his coffin, Rack's voice did ring. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. The monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It's caught on in a flash. Welcome to the Restaurant? It's now Is the there anything else that you need? Now no, everything's cool, Drax, a part of the band. You are looking my lovely smash. Thank you all for coming out. It's a great time. For you, the living, this smash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them what is sent. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. And we have a monster And you, my graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Mash! Easy, Igor. You impetuous young man. 